Hello! Welcome to 40 something and fabulous with Penny and look who we have. It is the man of the house. He's going to be helping me today. We are actually making one of his very favorite dishes, meatloaf. It's meat not loaf. it's not our normal meatloaf recipe, so we'll have to see how he likes this one. This one is called meatloaf a la mom. A la mama. And it has thyme gravy and root vegetables with it. So here's our recipe. So we're gonna no, no mashed potatoes and baked beans. No. Your birthday's coming soon. You can have that one then. <laughs> Okay, so one second, we're gonna gather everything we need. It says that we need to bust out a grater, a large bowl, a peeler, baking sheet, uh, four, four teaspoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of butter, and a medium pan. So back in a jiffy. Okay, so we have all of our supplies out here. We've also got a cutting board. We're going to open up our bag. You wanna, Ooh, la, la. You wanna open it? Uh, you can do that. You sure? Okay. He's just here to look cute. I'm doing a well, very well job. A very well job? Very well. Okay, we have our panko breadcrumbs. Panko. We have, ooh, these are the kind of carrots that we like. Oh, they weren't even peeled and everything. Baby carrots. Is that butter? Hmm? Is that butter? No, they don't include butter. That is uh, garlic. Probably for the meatloaf. Mm. Four cloves of garlic. You want to pull stuff out? We, we have some flour. I believe these are shallots, which are similar to onion. We've got two big old baking potatoes. Nice and firm. I like that. Nice and firm potato feel. Burn. Mm, Good burn. potatoes. We like brown potatoes. We've got two packets of beef stock. We have some ketchup. Love these little containers. So cute. And we have thyme. That's a lot of thyme. It is. I thought we were pressed for thyme. <laughs> we are not pressed for thyme. It is a Sunday. Today is a day of leisure. And this is our meat. Still looks really good. We got this in on Monday the 5th. Today is Sunday the 11th. So, still looks good. There's no expiration date on it. Makes me a little bit nervous. But I'm assuming if you needed to cook it before the week was up, they would tell you that. Because technically our next delivery would be tomorrow. Um, but we don't have one coming tomorrow because we're going to be out of town for a little while. So, um... I'm, ass I'm assuming that as long as you cook it within that week, you're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna get everything prepped up and back in a jiffy. Okay, so hubby's grating a shallot into the bowl. Did you do it? Did you cut yourself? No. <laughs> okay, injuries. Uh... All right, we are going to... Probably, if you'd rather do it like that, we can do that. You want to do it like that? Oh. It calls for like French fry type uh, okay, sticks. Great ideas. Okay, it's fine. We can probably mince that up. I don't know. I don't mean to mince words, but <laughs> my eyes are burning. Don't rub your eyes with your <sighs> oniony hands. I'm assuming a shallot is similar to an onion. It smells like an it onion. It smells like an onion. It burns like an onion. So I would say it's an onion. If it smells like an onion and burns like an onion, then it must be an onion. Probably a duck. <laughs> okay. Those are pretty good, right? It's not exactly like french fries. It's yummy. That looks yummy. That all is. I don't know. You want you want to chop it up like really fine? Sure. Let's see if I can get the rest of this cut up better. Not the best chopper.
this is like gonna take up my whole uh, my whole plate here. Maybe I'll do a pan of potatoes and then a pan of carrots because I have a whole nother potato here to do. Please don't slice your finger open. I forgot to say the nutritional information as well. Uh, meatloaf a la mom as prepared is 600 calories per serving. So it's on the lighter side compared to some of their other recipes. Um, actually, all the ones this week are pretty good. The highest one looks like 680. No, 720, which was the tacos that we had the other night. Those were awesome. They both, both the guys loved those. My son and my husband. My son is super picky, so for him to love those, that was a big deal. And then hubby had, uh, he actually had four for lunch the next day, but he left one in the fridge. He didn't I realize. Didn't see it. He didn't realize that there was four, so. I but he did eat too. three for lunch the next day. Pretty quickly, too. So we had plenty of food with that meal. Actually, we had stuff left over. That's probably good. And for the sake of full disclosure, they still had hot dogs at the RV place. Did you eat hot dogs tonight? And they're like, do you want one? I'm like, no, my wife's home cooking. I don't need to be eating right now. They're like, well, we're fixing the clothes. We're just going to throw them away. I'm like, well. So you ate one. I'll try one. <laughs> I'll try one. Gosh. Were they good? They were beef. They were grilled. And they were wrapped in that foil, so they were just a little bit moist. And I told Dean, you need to get one of these. He's like, no, I'm not really hungry. I'm like, get a hot dog anyway. <laughs> so you ate two of them. No. He got it, and he opened it and took a bite and goes, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, mean, I told him, they are delicious. I love carrots like this right here. can fit them all in one. The carrots and the potatoes. I'm gonna try. So, y'all snacked, huh? We snacked. That's the reason you weren't all excited that I was going fixing to cook or that I wanted your help. What were you not excited about? I was not excited about helping. <laughs> he is not a chef. I wish he was. We would have fun together. We saw Yvonne and Bill. Bill. When we pulled into Lowe's. Yeah. They were walking to their car and I'm like, hey. And they're like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, good. Yvonne goes, where's the wife? I'm like, where's she supposed to be? She's home cooking. <laughs> I'm like, that probably didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> and then I find out you're not even home cooking. No, I was just home. Well, not home, wherever at mom's. Cause it's not easy to cook at our place. Even if it was easy to cook over there, it's not really easy to get good footage of cooking over there, so. Okay, she don't like loads, so we put one out. <laughs> you got a cutting board here. I know, but you were using it. Let <clears throat> me cut this one out. Please. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. How's that? I don't know why I didn't add the carrots to that one. That's good, baby. Perfect. Let's see if we can fit them all on here. Master cutter. Master chef. What are we doing with shallots? Um, that one we're going to slice. Hang on, my direction's underneath the pan. Yeah, they're not all going to fit. Let's crowd them on there. Goodness. Only because I got to thinking about it and cooking them on separate cookie sheets will probably mess me up because the meatloaf has to go in there too. So we need space for that. You need to go ahead and peel this, right? Uh, yeah, let me read exactly what it says. It says to have peel and mince the other shallot. So just basically dice it up really, really fine. 
basically like um, grating it. What's the difference? Not much. You can't dice it as fine as you can grate it. Mm. Not that I know anything about. Just it. keep it out of the out of the bowl over there. All right, so we've got all the veggies. Peeled. Toss carrots with a large drizzle of olive oil and arrange toward one side of the baking sheet. Toss potatoes with a large drizzle of olive oil and arrange on the other side. Season both with salt and pepper. Roast in the oven until tender and brown. 20 to 25 minutes. We'll add more to the sheet after seven to eight minutes. What are we adding to the sheet after eight minutes? All the meat loaves. Okay, they'll have to just go on their own sheet because they are not fitting on this one. What did you tell me to do with this? Uh, have, peel, and mince. So just chop it up really finely. See, I've got tons of veggies here. This is definitely gonna be enough for four meals. Um, they did not skip it all on this stuff. So I'm excited about that because I'm leaving some food for the parentals as well. And um, we are going to use this one for the meatloaf. Okay, so next I'm going to also strip the thyme leaves from the stems, throw away the stems, roughly chop the leaves. Oh, it says have the carrots lengthwise. Okay, back in a bit. So, hubby hooked me up with um, p uh, Half having carrots. having my carrot have halving my carrots, not having them, halving them, cutting them in half. Okay, do you want to salt and pepper? Or do you want me to do it? You can. I can do that part. He likes to play with a knife. So we're gonna give them a good salting and peppering both the carrot and the potatoes. This is really hard for me because, oh, I feel so bad today. Yum, yum. Okay. All right, those are all ready to go with the oven. Make sure you didn't miss something again. I hope not. You want to read over it and make sure. Roast in oven until tender and brown, 20 to 25 minutes total. So we're going to add more to the sheet after seven to eight minutes. So I'm going to set this one for 23 minutes. I need you to set the timer for seven minutes. You talking to me? I <laughs> Who else am I going to be talking to? Timer. They can't set me a timer. They could. That may not work out. Well, yeah. So it's, it's going to be after the fact. All right. So next we're going to add the panko. Okay. I need to pull out some food prep gloves because we do not want ground beef under the nails. Where's your bowl? Oh, I didn't do the time. Did you go in this bowl? Yes, but I didn't do the time. I have to take care of the time first. All of it? It says. It says to peel the leaf. Strip the thyme leaves from the stems. Oh, Lord. Which you'd think there'd be an easy way to do that. But it doesn't appear to be. Go against the grain. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Probably against, right? Does it all go in this bowl? Um, I wouldn't put all of it in there because I don't know. Because it says half the time. But see, am I supposed to have these little stems? No, you're not supposed to have stems, just leaves. Okay, then you do that. <laughs> we'll let you do that. That's why I'm asking, does it go in the bowl? Don't put it in the bowl. It says to add panko beef into half the time we got it. Okay, go ahead. Put it in the bowl then. <laughs> Goodness gracious. This is, um... Don't like time, by the way. Well, I don't either, but do you, do you want to not use it? Do you want to not use it? Do you want to not use it? I've already used some. Well, some is not half. Do you want to not use it? Because thyme also goes in the gravy. Gravy? Yes. That's what the flour's for. And the beef stock. Okay, this. If you don't want the thyme in the gravy, we won't. Don't thyme the gravy. Huh? Don't thyme the gravy. But we're going to thyme the meat? A little bit. Okay. He tells me to prepare it like the recipe says, because how, otherwise, how will we know? Lord. But now, 
Is, it, is the shallot getting you? No, the time to get me now. This stuff's stale. Well, that's good. That means it's nice and fresh. So that's a good sign, All right? See this? <laughs> Look at you. Look at this. He don't even know what he's doing, and he's still doing it. Nice. Look, he's learning something. That's okay. A big twig, twig. Stig twig. Big twig. Can you do it over the cutting board and let me get started doing the meat over here? I can without, do anything. Would that work? Because I am awesome. Are you? Uh -huh. You are awesome. Oh, that is strong. I smell it. That's what I'm saying. scissors is definitely going to have to be washed because it's all down in the meat. All right, hold on. I'm dumping this in now. And package two. Package number two. This video is going to require much more editing because I'm not stopping it as frequently as I normally stop. Talk to them sometimes about what you're doing. Playing with time. Not the father, not the mother, just time. <clears throat> the time is strong. Yeah, but when you use, um, Okay, don't use all of it. How about that? Since we don't think we like it anyway, let's don't use all of it. I think we've got plenty. Okay, let me get a napkin. What else do I need? You got the recipe over there now. The, the, the shallots, the thyme, Add the meat. Panko, the beef, panko. half the thyme, garlic, and a few dashes of salt and pepper to both. How much garlic? With grated shallot. It just says garlic. I guess I don't know. Well, read what it'll tell you exactly. Okay, it it says mints are great garlic. Okay, it doesn't say to do half or whatever. Listen, you're messing up the whole recipe. You tell me to follow the recipe, and then you don't follow the recipe. What's up with that? different. It's different. So are you mincing or grating? I'm going to mince. And can you come around here and grate some salt and pepper into here? Didn't it say salt and pepper also? Yes. Grate some salt and pepper. Whatever. Um, whatever that is. You know what I'm talking about. Gotta get enough to kill the flavor of the thyme. <laughs> the garlic will do that. This will be a treat for my parents, too, because I don't know that my parents have ever eaten thyme. <laughs> I'm such an excellent chopper. And it shows. <laughs> My mama lets me do it on Saturdays. Sunday. All right, now let's hit the stop button on the video. <laughs> For real. Okay, so hubby's making our meat loaves. And I will get started on the gravy. We're gonna melt a tablespoon of butter in a medium pan over medium heat. We're gonna add minced shallot and remaining thyme, which hubby wants to leave that out. So we're not gonna put the remaining thyme in there. Cook, tossing until softened, three to four minutes. Sprinkle flour into pan, stirring vigorously to combine. Whisk in stock concentrates and one cup water. Bring to a simmer and let bubble until thick and saucy, three to four minutes. Season with salt and pepper. What are you laughing at? Deacons. 
I'll see. That one is really big and that one's not so big. And those are bigger than one inch tall. I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it separated out first. Okay, that's fine. So I can see if I need to do it. I'm supervising. <laughs> Okay, and remember, before you touch the salt or pepper or anything else, wash your hands good. Why? So you don't have meat junk on them. <laughs> Not only is he my husband of 24 years, will you get out of my space? He's my best friend. <laughs> and he's in my space. They got smaller as you went. What the heck? That's yours. That's mine. This is whoever. My parents. Are you eating one tonight? I thought one was for my lunch tomorrow. They, it is. And I figured we would try it tonight, but I figure we'll um, just sample it and then we'll uh, take the boy somewhere because he ain't getting this. <laughs> is that bad? How are we looking? Fine, but you know, this one's still gigantic. That's mine. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop these in the oven. I'm gonna get the gravy started and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, and for Greg's review on tonight's dinner, Hello Fresh Meatloaf a la Mom. What are your thoughts? It don't taste like what Mama made. <laughs> Good. Could use less time. We're not a fan of time. We found out. The carrots and potatoes are delicious. The potatoes, I would have honestly think they would have been better if they would have been seasoned with something. So that's what I would do different next time. Gravy's really good too. The gravy, we chose not to put the time in. It's just literally shallots, flour, beef stock, butter, and water. But so. I would eat it. You would eat it? I'd leave the time out next time. Okay, so that would be a redo just with some modifications. Okay, and that's just because we don't like time. Yeah. So, okay. Where's Honey Butts? Sign off. Bye. Like and subscribe. Yes. So Dad Thank came you. in and he sampled dinner. What's your thoughts? Honest thoughts. Well, it's all very good. The meatloaf is good, the gravy is good, the carrots are good, and I love potatoes, so naturally they're good. So, would you eat it again? Would you recommend it to your friends? It's good. I would. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for the reviews. Honey, tell them again. What do we want them to do? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye.